Hey everyone, how y'all doing? I got the mini Praxis to look at today. Um, new model, came out a couple weeks ago. I've had it for a week or so. So I've carried it and used it a little bit. And I have to say, pretty awesome little knife. And if you, you like the full size Praxis, you'll probably like this one. And this one only costs $29.75, so under 30 bucks. But before we get into this, I'll show you real fast. You get your standard Civivi box. Right there's the label to this one. Um, get your standard little pouch, right? That we're all used to. Now, one thing I noticed, this one has a green a green microfiber cloth. It's the first one I've noticed that's green. Um, sometimes I take the knife out of that pouch and I never see that pouch again. But <clears throat> yeah, so I like the green. That's cool. You also get your little Elementum sticker and a green Civivi sticker, which I guess they made the cloth to match the sticker now. Um, one thing I noticed also, is and their little paperwork I think is different, but it lists their social media accounts, Facebook, um, YouTube, and Instagram. I think I follow all three of them. If you don't, um, you should because you'll find out about new releases and stuff. But yeah, this is the first new release I bought in quite a while. Um, I've been playing catch up. And some of the Civivi knives that I bought, one of which is the full-size Praxis. I finally got one. I've always wanted one, but originally they had those ugly gold, gold liners. Then they finally came out with this black and OD green one. So I grabbed it. Love this knife. So when I saw this one coming out in the same colors... It would match this one. I'm like, yeah, I gotta have it. So I did. I jumped on it as soon as I knew it was on, on sale or for for sale. But yeah, for 30 bucks, this is an awesome little knife for what, especially for what you get. I mean, you get D2 steel. <clears throat> the full size was 9CR18 MOV. Um, so they changed that to D2. The black stone wash finish is excellent. I like Civivi's black stone wash. Love the drop point of the Praxis. This one's a hollow ground, hollow grind, where the full size is flat. And yeah, pretty thin blade stock and that little hollow grind. It's not a deep hollow grind, but it's still a hollow grind. And it's pretty slicey. Got the awesome forward finger choil. In fact, the forward finger choil on the Mini is the same size as the forward finger choil on the full size. You know, line it up like that so I can fit my fat finger in there. No issues. Love that. Um, ball bearing pivot. Action is just like what you expect from a Civivi. Flies right out. Um, this is a pretty small, lightweight blade, so it's not really drop, drop shutty, but takes nothing to close it. OD um, green G10 handles. I like this color combination. Um, the texturing on the Mini is a little more rough, a little rougher than the full size. I like it. I like this on the Mini. Of course you get there you get an awesome pocket clip on this one the the clip and the screws are flush so nothing in the way um, centering of this is right down the center stainless steel skeletonized liners lockup is excellent the liner lock is Fully onto the tang of the blade. It's about 45-50%. I 
show you over any other camera in a moment but absolutely no blade play no side to side no up or down it's rock solid and as smooth as can be um, pretty good access to the liner lock I can get it no problem um, there's little little tiny bits of jimping on the liner lock but I don't even feel that that really does nothing um, jimping up here on the blade is actually better than the jimping on the full size the full size is kind of rounded um, doesn't you don't get the bite on it like you do on this mini but yeah guess go over the specs I think I'll bring it over to this camera go over the specs so you get a closer look but yeah D2 steel blade blade is 2.98 inches long so just under 3 inches um, drop point hollow grind there's that awesome finger choil got jimping on top that's better than the full size got a nice wedge along the top of it pivot the pivot end and this was all black where and a full size it was a silver and black I like the black blacked out one um, liner lock you can see got pretty good access to it it's easy to get to there's a lock up now you can see that or not um, nice G10 scales like I said texturing I think's better got standoffs back here instead of a backspacer and if you notice that center standoff is smaller so you can tie a lanyard around that so that's cool if you like lanyards on your knives and there's that pocket clip um, get it so you can see I don't know if you can see the clip is recessed screws are flat so no nothing to interfere um the only thing is this is right hand tip up carry only there's no no cutouts or screw holes to switch it um i think they, they missed something there not making a left hand carry for left-handed people it's okay by me i, I I don't ever put my folders in my left pocket. I always have my Victorinox um, Pioneer X in my left pocket and a and a suspension hook. But yeah, this is a pretty pretty awesome little knife. Um, the only thing I can complain about is it doesn't fit my hand right um or my hand doesn't fit the knife right handles long enough handle is 3.81 inches so i can get full grip especially if i use the forward finger choil um even back my pinky kind of wraps around the end but a full i get a full nice grip on it it's just these um finger grooves my, my hand doesn't fit in them seems like no matter how I hold it my ring finger is more or less on the top of that point really anywhere that way I hold it that doesn't bother me you know when I'm using it I don't really notice it um, just just doesn't fit right that's about the only complaint I have about this and if I didn't have fat hands, I, you know, no, if I had normal size hands, it'd probably fit. But yeah, um, let's come kind of do a little size comparison here. Here's the full size, which I absolutely love. <laughs> Here's the mini, so it's a lot smaller. The full size with the finger grooves fit, fits my hand perfect. No matter how I hold it, 
choked up, back on the handle, everything, fingers laying in the grooves, nice and comfortable. Um, I don't know, I can't remember how thick the handle is on the full size. I think it's 0 0.51 handle on the mini is 0 0.45, so it's a little bit thinner. Definitely, man, I don't know what the weight of this is, but um, yeah, I do. It's 4.42 ounces. Weight of the mini is 2.77, so under less than three ounces, just under a three inch blade. Carries excellent. I've been carrying it, using it. Um, yeah, no complaints. Just bring it back over this camera, do some size comparisons. Get it lined up. Here's the full size Praxis. That just dwarfs the mini. But yeah, what what a cool combination. I like I like these two. Same color. Um, the full size is 9CR18 MOV with a three and three quarter inch blade. So you can see it's quite a bit longer. Excellent. These are like my two size ranges. Um, from three inch to three and seven five, three and three quarter. Any place in there, I'll care, you know, I like. So get that out of the way. <clears throat> Let's try, how about the Elementum? So here it is up against the Elementum. The Elementum is actually a little bit longer. So Prax, the Mini Prax is a little bit smaller than the El Elementum. Handle wise, blade wise, blade wise are pretty close, but you get more cutting edge on the Elementum because that that finger choil. But yeah, awesome knife. How about Benchmade Bug Out? Always throw that in here. So the Bug Out's a lot bigger, and nobody thinks the Bug Out's huge. Um, this has titanium. Crossfade G10 scales on it. So that's that one. How about the Ritter Hogue Mini RSK something something? Now they're they're very comparable, these two. Um yeah, obviously there's no four finger show, so you get a lot more cutting edge on the the Hogue. But yeah. So you know what size that is? That's basically what that is. Now, this blade shape and both of them, I really, I really like this blade shape. And it reminds me a lot of the Spartacle Native 5 Lightweight. I don't know if you can see the, what I'm talking about. Very similar to me, blade shapes. And this is one of my favorite knives of all time. Um... This is S30, or this is Spy 27 steel, but I love their forward finger choil, and yeah, overall, um, very close. The Native 5 Lightweight might be just a touch longer overall, um, cutting edge. Let's bring it up here so I can see, cutting edge. It actually looks like you get a little bit more cutting edge with the Mini Praxis over the Native 5. But yeah, this is a back lock, you know, but still one of my all-time favorites. And to me, I think they have very similar blade shape. This is hollow ground. This thing's a little slicey little guy let me tell you but yeah um i'm glad i got this i'm glad i finally got the full size you know it took me a long time to get it because i did not like the original gold liners and but i always wanted it so when it came out of this i grabbed it 
and got this to match. Um, they're not identical. I already said some of the differences. Um, D2 steel, 9CR18 MOV, flat grind, hollow grind. The pivots are different. This is blacked out. This is the black and silver. G10 on a mini is a little bit darker in color and shade. The texturing is just slightly rougher. I like that. Um, full size has the backspacer with a lanyard hole and a backspacer. This has standoffs with a extra little small standoff for a lanyard. Um, pocket clips. This is original Civivi clip. Flathead screws, but it sits on top of the scale. And this one's left hand or right hand carry. This has got the smaller clip, newer style. Clip is flush or recessed. The screws are flush, um, but it's only right hand tip up only. Can't switch it over to left. Um, both of them liner locks, so though. Yeah, I mean, it's not too much difference, just in appearance. But, yeah. Oops. <sighs> pretty good, pretty good combo right here. I like, I like the big one and the little one. Um, this one, I don't, I got sweatpants on. I have not tried this in the fifth pocket. It probably would fit. And you could carry this in your main pocket. But yeah. Pretty awesome set of knives. I'm digging them. But yeah, guess I'll do it for this video. My camera's about ready to die. So guess that's all I got for you. You know, do the usual like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until the next video, bye.